Martha here with VeggieSoulFood.com and another episode of Meatless Monday. Kamal's working this week, so you just have me this week, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll get through it. We're going to show you how to make teriyaki tofu. So we are on week 22 of our Meatless Monday program, and this is the recipe. Teriyaki tofu, another one pager. That's how we do it. Very easy. Kamal and I just got back from Chicago a couple days ago and we had a really great trip and had some awesome vegan food. And my girlfriend that we were there visiting asked me, how do you cook tofu and what kind of tofu do you use? So Celeste, this recipe is for you. So the key with this recipe is the type of tofu that you use. For this recipe, we like the Super Firm Tofu by Wildwood. Probably any Super, term, super Firm Tofu will do. We just happen to use Wildwood for this one. And what you want to do is take two packages of this, so that would be 20 ounces, cube it up, and let it drain on paper towel for just a few minutes. You don't have to let it drain too long. And then we're going to put a coating on it. So the coating in this case is a half a cup of flour and a tablespoon of cornstarch, organic cornstarch of course. Let's take our tofu and put it right into our flour cornstarch mixture. Just pop them in. Now we're just going to shake the tofu up, kind of coat it with our mixture here. This just gives it a very, very fine, very light crust. Make sure all the pieces are well coated. Okay, our tofu is cooking. It's cooking about probably about two minutes at this point. So let's take a look and see how it looks. What we're going to do is flip it after about another minute or so and let it get browner on the other side as well. While the tofu is cooking, we can go ahead and prepare our vegetables. So again, we'll start with a little bit of grapeseed oil. And what I have here is one half chopped sweet onion and two carrots that have been washed and sliced. So let's start with that first. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and add two cups of broccoli to it as well. Two cups of chopped broccoli. Now you don't want to overcook these. You're really just kind of steaming them. And then we're going to go ahead and put a top on this to allow the steaming to go a little bit quicker. Now let's go ahead and check on our tofu. See, it's got kind of a nice brown crust. Okay, it's been another couple minutes and our tofu is just about done. Let's take a look. It's nice and brown and crusty. So we flip them over so the other side can get cooked a little more. And if you ever wonder how they get that nice crusty tofu at the Chinese restaurants, this is one way to do it. All right, let's check in on our vegetables now. It's been maybe about three minutes. They're nice and stained, but not over stained. Now what we do is just take our tofu. See if we can get it. Mix it in. Just toss our vegetables with the tofu. Notice how we did not overcook our vegetables, so there's not a lot of liquid in the bottom of the pan. Now all we have to do is add our sauce. So what I have here is black bean sauce, some soy sauce, and some red chili pepper sauce. Uh, what you can do is just go ahead and buy whatever teriyaki sauce you want to use. You can just buy it straight off the shelf if you don't feel like making your own. Okay, another really quick hack. So let's add our teriyaki sauce. No more cooking required, it's just we have an iron skillet, so it's still pretty hot. This is your fresh teriyaki tofu. I think the key is sauteing or frying the tofu in a little bit of flour and cornstarch really, really makes a difference for this one. Taste test time. <laughs> We've got our bowl of teriyaki tofu here. I'm going to go ahead and just try a little piece of tofu. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's so good. Look how firm this is. The texture, that coating we put on the outside, 
makes it so firm and it actually uh, absorbs the sauce as well. It's supposed to be my husband's dinner. We'll see. Maybe this is my lunch. <laughs> mm, the broccoli is excellent too. Guys, you see how easy this is, right? Teriyaki tofu, less than 15 minutes to prepare. Another recipe that you can do at home. Yes, do try this at home. So that's it for this week, but remember you can get this recipe in our book, The Vegan System, and also we have free resources on our site. So make sure you visit VeggieSoulFood.com. You can get a free vegan product guide and also a free seven-day vegetarian starter kit that you can download. Thanks again for joining us, and we will see you next week with another episode of Meatless Monday. Bye.